Good morning. I'd like to welcome St. Paul, Minneapolis, and the Twin Cities area to the 25th anniversary of the Rondos Day Parade. I'm Stanley Freelix. And I'm Bernard Foster. And we'd like to welcome you also to the Sterling Club. We're on the deck of the Sterling Club here at the corner of St. Albans and Carroll. And uh, it's still an overcast day, but it's a beautiful day for the parade. And our roving reporter in the street today would be Mr. Malcolm from KMOJ Radio. As we get started, we have the Boy Scouts Color Guard. guard. Various, various troops, troops from around the St. Paul area, area participating, participating in today's parade. parade. And just a correction, it is the 26th annual Rondo Days Festival. What did I say? 25th? You said 25th. Oh. That's okay. It's okay. Oh. Okay. Well, welcome to the 26th then. I'll you move know, it up a year. First thing that goes is your mind. <laughs> well, yeah. I hope I find it someday. Okay. That's all right, Stan. Once again, Once again is the Boy Scouts color, color Guard of various, various Scout troops from the local area. Actually, they need more young men in the scouts. Put them on the right path in life. And this year's Grand Marshal is Gloria Wright and Katie McWatt. Longtime residents of the Rondo community, Mrs. McMutt and Mrs. Wright. Next coming up is Chris Coleman for St. Paul. I'm sure they're encouraging everybody to get out and vote. And that's what we all should do as citizens. You got that right. <laughs> I see the mayor's group, but where's the mayor? Can we get a shot of Mr. Coleman? His honor. Oh, here he is, jogging around through the crowd. Okay. I guess this, guess this is one time we don't mind bringing up, bringing up the rear. Up the rear. <laughs> There's Chris Coleman, there he is. There's our mayor of the St. Louis City. Coming up behind uh, Chris Coleman. Oh, we're still on. No, Betty McCollum for Congress. Congressman McCollum's re-election campaign is underway. Tony Carter is uh, participating in the bike ride there. Oh, yeah, it's the Major Taylor bike bike group. <laughs> following, you know, Congress Congressman McCollum's group. And the group now is a building for self-esteem in God's way. It's a local church group. <laughs> the young participants on the float there seem like they're enjoying themselves. And here comes the, Ram the Ramsey County, County Sheriff's Department. Showing off their new four wheelers. Oh, 
Hickman's father, Father Kevin, Rondo. from St. Peter Claver Church. Rondo. It's all love. Riding in style on this drop down <laughs> Corvette, raising the roof. You go, Padre. Spectators. And up next, one of St. Paul's finest, the fire department. Well, the first Agent Company number fire. five. First group we have here is the Black Firemen of St. Paul. They're from station number five upon Victoria and Ashland. Yeah, I know some of those guys. Oh, there's Mr. John Broderick. Our politician, Mr. Broderick, used to be uh, one of the old teachers at St. Paul Mechanic Arts High School back in the day. So I wonder if we can get a ride on this boat. That's a nice boat that they have right there. Yes, it is. Real nice boat. Once again, the fire department is the black firemen from throughout the St. Paul area. That's a real nice rescue boat they have there. It's like the type you see down in the Everglades. Yes, sir. <laughs> huh? Is that right? That's right. So the firefighters having fun waving to the cameraman down there. And up next, the contingent from KMOJ Radio. How you doing? KMOJ has been around for 30 years, and as well this year, they had a power increase and in, in broadcast expansion. One of the mainstays of KMOJ is Walter Q. Bear Banks. Actually, this past week, I participated in Leo Lewis' golf tournament with him. We had a pretty good time. And it's safe to say you won, right? Uh, our group, no, we did. Yeah, I shot, uh, shot in the, the uh, Rondo Days golf tournament, and if I uh, take away the uh, first five holes, I did pretty good. <laughs> well, only five for you. If they take away like 15 of mine, I did real good. <laughs> Yeah, on the second hole, I start off on number 12 with shotgun style, and uh, you want be? Hold on, I'll put one on you. All right, so here's there you go. Is this Mr. Melton KMOJ, our man in the street? You welcome. Hey, we're coming to St. Paul. See the date. <laughs> We're coming. Yeah, you're coming and you're here. Welcome. I see KMOJ is well represented this year. Five vehicles for staff and family and friends. Once again, we are broadcasting live from the upper deck at the St. Paul Sterling Club, located in St. Paul. And currently coming by is KMOJ, who happens to be one of the sponsors of the parade this year. 
Okay, that was the KMOJ group. And want to remind everyone that after the parade, they will there will be the festival held at 12 o'clock down at the Martin Luther King Center, which is located at Kent and Carroll here in St. Paul. And we want to welcome everyone to come down join the festivities. Oh, it's down to there. It's the drill team competition later on this evening. No? No, there won't be a drill team competition this year. Oh, really? Yeah, first time since uh, hmm, whenever. Yeah. I'd have to say that the economy is uh, taking its toll. Oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, they just have having groups just performing in the parade this year. Because I have seen various groups around the city practicing down at, you know, like at, down at Oscar Jimmy Lee. Mm -hmm. What's up, Daddy Buddy? <laughs> hey, right, we're still with the KMOJ group. There's Walter Q. Bear Banks. <laughs> A shout out from Q. Bear. of Peter Claver hey. Council, 256. All right. This is an African-American Catholic fraternity and sorority. They also have a ladies' auxiliary also. We'd like to welcome, you. Yep, welcome them to this year's parade. The Knights of Peter Claver. And up next is Johnny Baby. It's a neighborhood bar located at 981 University, celebrating their fifth year in existence. There's Big Papa right on the front of the, of the car. So I didn't know Johnny could run. Did you see that? Oh, he did, huh? <laughs> and up next is the Star Model Management Company. All these young ladies with the Star Management Model Company. I know they're going to need foot massages after this walking around those high heels. <laughs> Here's Jonathan Price, the owner of Johnny Babies. Star Model Management, beautiful inside and out. They can be reached at I love starmodels.com. And up next is the half pints. They've been competing in this parade for the last 15 years. Seems like they get younger every year. Well, that's a good thing because we keep the youth coming in and they keep growing. Are you ready to perform for us? So sit back and enjoy.
the half pints. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The half pints feature in St. Paul. Give it up. Oh, they're going to do it again. Did you ever move like that, Stanley? <laughs> there was a day. <laughs> Now I've given way for my grandchildren to move like that. I feel you on that one. There's young parade participants. Again, the half pints from St. Paul. It's, that's, that's okay right now. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the African American Man Project. They've been in existence for nine years, and their goal is to change and improve lives of African Americans. The African American Man Project. American Men's Project promotes health, wellness, housing, education, economical empowerment, and family structure, and community structure, community involvement. Words of wisdom from their leader, speaking to the youth in the, in the crowd. Why they just look like ordinary African American men? They're not that. These are men, all of us, who have struggled in our past, all of us. But in spite of our past struggle, we have put some things in place. We have put some things together as a part of our work on ourselves and the African American Men Project. And these men are back home to demonstrate that what we did in the past is not correct, it's not good. We're not having it no more. We're not standing for it. We're not going to be put down. We're not going to be shut down. We're going for what we got to go for. This is our motto. I can. I can. I will. I will. I, will, and I must. I must. Y'all say it with us. I can. I can. I will. I will. And I must. I must. I can go to school. I can go to school. I will go to school. I will go to school. I must be the president. I must be the president. I can. I can. I will. I will. And I must. Let's roll out, y'all. Give these guys a hand. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the African American Man Project. I will. I will. And I must. Hey, we look good on camera too. That is for me. Once again, their mission is to promote wellness, health, housing, education, economical empowerment, family, family structure, and involvement. And coming up now is the U.S. Census Bureau. It's their time to take the census again. Every 10 years they come around to keep track. 
It's so important to fill out your census when they do come to your house and get them sent back in because that is how we get represented, not just here in our community, but throughout the whole United States. Obama needs to know we're here, y'all. He don't know we're here. He can't help us. Count them census. April 1st, 2010, you count. Then count again. April 1st, 2010. All right, that was the Census Bureau urging everyone to get out there and be counted for it. April 1st, 2010. And up next is Glasgow Auto. Uh, University of Grotto. Okay. Oh, we're going to our man in the street, Malcolm. Hi, this is Malcolm from KMOJ 89.9, standing here with Amanda Burner. Sister, tell me, how do you, how do you feel about uh, the Rondo Days and how much fun are you having? Well, Rondo Days to me is an, a wonderful opportunity for people to get together and celebrate and have a reunion. And it's just a whole community coming together and just enjoying the festivities of the day. I think you kind of summed it up. I mean, as I look around and everybody just in such a festive mode. And then when I seen you, then I knew that you were, you were that Rondo Day lady. Okay, So truly we appreciate you. And how long have you been coming out to Rondo Day? Oh, gosh, probably for the last probably 15 years or so. So you're gonna pass that on to somebody else? Oh, yes. Yes, my son is here, or she will be coming, and my grandson. Well, good for you. Yes. We thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you, you too. All right, that was our man in the street, Malcolm, from KMOJ. Now it's the Omega Phi Sci-Fi Fraternity. And Pool Boy, a custom clothing company specializing in handcrafted and stitched screen print. Pool Boy. Give them a shout out to their moms out there. And then there's the Halle Q. Brown. Contingency. The Alec Q. Brown Center has been serving the St. Paul area for the last 50, 60 years. They started over on the on Aurora Avenue. They moved to their current digs over on Marshall at the Martin Luther King Center slash Alec Q. Brown Community Center. Now located at Kent and Kirk. the St. Paul chapter of the NAACP. <laughs> and up next is the Metropolitan State University. Metro State. <laughs> and the Urban Academy. That's the youth group from the Urban Academy right there. The charter school established in 
away. That was the Metro State University contingency and the Urban Academy Charter School. And up next is the Fast Break Gophers Women Basketball Booster Club for the Gophers Women Basketball team featuring Goldie Gopher. And this one of St. Paul's finest women basketball players of all time, Linda Roberts, all-state basketball player from St. Paul Central and a Hall of Famer at the University of Minnesota. You go, Linda. <laughs> And up now we have Little Caesars. Bet you nobody recognizes that guy. <laughs> we'll go back to our man in the street, Malcolm, for an interview. Take it away, Malcolm. All the way back here again. I got, what's your name again, sister? Joanne. Joanne Summerall. 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 Uh, how do you feel about uh, Rondo Day? Oh, I love it. I so, love it. So what do you like about it? Tell us what you like about um, it. I like to see the different little dancers. I think the dancers are my favorite. You are? Yeah. Now, now we, were just, we were just talking on the sidelines, and she turned around and says, that's my daughter. Yeah. So her daughter is in the parade as well. So we truly appreciate you. Tell uh, Twin Cities, uh, St. Paul, how do you feel about the Rondo Days? I love Rondo Days. And what are you going to do next year? Uh, come to Rondo Days. Hang out with your babies? And come, <laughs> come to Rondo Days. Bless you. This is Malcolm again. We'll talk to you in a little while. Thank you, Malcolm. Now, up next... Is the love van. No. <laughs> but you call that an econo van? With all the grass on it? <laughs> Is that the van from the Cheech and Chong movie? Uh, I don't know, but it's 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 different. There's people stocking up on their Little Caesars gifts. They used to give out little bite-sized pizzas. Fifth eighth grade girl focus school. On the corner of Summit and Snelling. Come visit the school. Fifth through eighth grade. <laughs> Here's the Lord Jeffrey Academy with the eco van. <laughs> I think that would have to be the uh, float of the parade. Look at that. That is quite the float. <laughs> A chill pet car. Oh, look at that thing. Wonder how it fares in the winter or does it go south for the winter? Yeah, it goes dormant. <laughs> And up next is the St. Paul Better Ballet Campaign. about to be entertained by
That's the red, yellow, and white dance troop. Unfortunately, right. we don't have a name, or we would tell you who just entertained you. So I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed it. it. Thank you. I apologize for that, young people. Well, if we do find out the name, we will be more than happy to let you know who they were, and I hope you did enjoy them. And actually, right behind is the MLK Tennis Buffs, USTA Northern Association. They were established for the purposes of promoting the development of tennis in the African American community. There's the group representing the YWCA of St. Paul for the dance ministry, Final Vision. And they perform all over the metro area. Here we are back with our man, Marcus Malcolm. I'm sorry, Malcolm. Take it away. Hi. We're back again down, downstairs, hanging out with my, and this is an honor. This is a pleasure. I got Mr. Willie Walker here. This brother's like, well, you like a legend for real. For real. 50 years. 50 years. From the streets. From the street. To the music. To the music. To the community. To the community. To the community. To the community. Back Always to, to the, the community. community. <laughs> That's what makes you so special. Tell me, brother, give me some thoughts on, on Rondo Days. I've been participating in Rondo Days for, God, I don't want to talk about how many years, man. But uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful event, a wonderful community, community event, and it's nice to see so many people out here enjoying what's going on, just getting together, you know? I truly agree with that. We were talking about, we were watching a dance group come by and you looked at me and you says, man, I wish I had that energy. <laughs> yeah. And I almost said to myself, I'm looking for the same energy. <laughs> but we appreciate you. I want to see you next year. I'm always here. I want to see you do something in Minnesota. All right. The legend, the man, <laughs> Mr. Walker. Rondo Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Malcolm. That's a long time uh, local musician, singer. Willie Walker. And up next is United Food and Commercial Workers Local 789, a union that represents 700, 7,400 members who work in a variety of occupations. And right now entertaining you is local singer and songwriter Shannon Leah from Gladiator Records. And 
And that was local recording artist Shannon Leah from Gladiator Records. And now we have uh, coming up in now is a uh, head start. Local Community Action Partnership. What will we do without Head Start? Yeah, Head Start's been around for what, 40 years. And here comes the winner, Carnival Senior Royalty. They participate in the run of these days. Exception. Like the group from the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Malcolm. Well, run new days. I'm down here with Dana now. Dana Tavares. Yes. Sister. Just an all around nice woman. And I want her to explain to you guys what she explained to me about run new days. Come on, give us some feedback. Well, I've been coming to Rondo days as long as I can remember. 42 years old right now, but I still have to come back for the celebration every year. Got to come out and support the community. See the young folks out here doing good. And of course, to eat, hear music, and see people I haven't seen for I don't know how long. <laughs> see, at the end of the day, I don't have to advertise this. All I do is turn it on to Dana <laughs> and Miss Travis. She's going to let us know that Rondu Days is the best thing that's happening. Oh, yeah. So I, yeah. you can concur with that. Very positive. Well, community. it was truly a pleasure. We're going to hang out, have some fun, and go get something to eat. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Now we're being entertained by some street dancers. Thank you there, uh, Mr. Malcolm. Little break dancers. <laughs> I can do that. All right, I'm ready to do it. See one more. Okay. And actually, during that interview, we had the Wells Fargo banking establishment. I'd like to thank them for their participation. And we're back to the break dances. It's the Arts Us Boombox Crew. It's an after-school program used to teach inner city youth the history of dance and how to be professional. That's the Boombox Crew. I have to see you. I'll get another one. Now we have up to St. Paul Bangers, their first year performers. We're about to be entertained by the bangers.
says they like dancing and they're from St. Paul. Thank you. Up now is the group from B96, 96.3 FM. The Beat. There they are, uh, dropping their low rider. 65 Chevy, convertible. <laughs> there you go. You got a nice car there. That's B96. Once again, we are broadcasting from the Sterling Club. Sterling Club is the first black club in St. Paul. And the Sterling Club is also the second 1918. black men's social club. Established in 1909. Oh, correct me. I said 1918. Okay, we have the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wise River Valley. Oh, I'm sorry, we missed it. Miss White Bear Avenue and the ambassador. We apologize. And I said 1909, I meant 1919. from Ames Elementary. Take it away. All right, now, you know, one of the things that I love about the Rondo Days Parade from this year and last year is that you get to meet so many different people in the community. And Mr. Mitchell here, Mr. Petey Mitchell, he's been here for, like, what, 55 years? Yes, yes, yes. He liked the speed limit. <laughs> Tell us what's I go, happening. I go slow and fast these days, so um, enjoying the day. It's a, it's a beautiful day. A lot of people are out. It's a good, good day for uh, see a lot of people you haven't seen in years. 
and, and that's a, that, that, I'm, I'm sorry, and that's, and that's a good thing about the Rondo days is that it brings people together you haven't seen in years. In years, yes, uh, yes. To come out here and, and run into them. That's right. It's, it's a big family affair, too, and uh, uh, a great place to network and see the folks that are, are, are doing well in the community and catch up with old times, and uh, it's just a wonderful day. It's a little cold, but they're still out here. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mitchell. <laughs> it truly was a pleasure talking to you, brother. All right, all Enjoy right. the rest of the festivities. I got it. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Malcolm. Thank you. And here we come up with the True Breed Motorcycle Club, Minnesota's largest motorcycle club. They've been around for five years. Now I wonder if their if their Chevy lead car bounces up and down. Uh, no, that's uh, <laughs> a completely different model. I think that one would have trouble going up and down. If it went up, I think it'd stop on the fourth floor. <laughs> and Tubri, they've been a club for five years now, and this is their third year in our parade. Well, well, they're getting ready to do something. They shut down other bikes. Well, for safety, they're not able to put on the show that they'd really like to put on, which is doing the front and the back wheelies. Oh, they did it a few years back. It got kind of scary up there. They're popping wheelies up and right. Thank God nothing happened. I said, for safety, we're, they are unable to do that. It's a true breed motorcycle club. Blackhawks drill team coming into the view. the Blackhawks drill team. Then up next, the target volunteers. St. Paul Target Store has been a big sponsor and 
participant in the Ronda Days Parade. And all the volunteers, uh, you'll recognize a lot of faces here because they are the faces of the neighborhood. Well, I hope they got the day off today. With pay. Have to go to work after the parade. That wouldn't be any fun. All right. Take it away, Mr. Malcolm. You know, I'm having a good time out here. It's, uh, I got Miss Mickey Strickland right here. That's this, right. This sister's so enthusiastic and, 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 and just give out so much energy. I had to grab her. <laughs> tell, tell me, Mickey, about Rondo Days, in your opinion, what's good, bad, and the best. Rondo Days is the best for all of us from St. Paul, Minnesota. I was raised right over here at 55104. And it's, and it's always a time for celebration, family, family friends, friends, just a, just good, a good time to get time together. To get it's together. like perfect like um, homecoming for all of St. Paul. It takes us all the way back from when Rondo was split up to right now today. All different generations is out here. I don't miss it for nothing. You know, it's, ama it. it's amazing because a couple people have said the same thing uh, when you get That's out right, to Rondo days. We, so we and look and look at her little crew. This she, is my crew. Say hey. Say happy Rondo days. Hey, happy Rondo days. That's what I'm talking about, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Rondo Days down here with 89.9 KMOJ, The People Station. The People Station. Hey, KMOJ, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, up next is the Umuni Cultural Association. Umuni means brothers and sisters in the language. Igbo promotes language and culture of the Igbo people. And the Jimmy Lee Rec Center cheerleaders. And we're going to get a performance right here in front of the Sterling Club here at Carroll and St. Albans. That's St. Uh, Paul. And up next is the Prince of Masons, the Eastern Stars, and the Daughters of Isis, the Fessing Court Isorettes Youth Group. Okay, that is the Fessing Court number seven. Faison Court number seven. Faison, okay, excuse me. Oh, here comes more of the True Beat Motorcycle Club. I guess they're catching up with their with their group. Right now we have the Minnesota Prince of Grand Lodge of Minnesota. <laughs> right in style of the 1950, I'm sure that's a 58 Ford Fairlane.
and Pheasant Temple number 26. This is the Pheasant Temple Group and the Parade of Classic Cars. Okay, we got our man in the streets, Malcolm from KMOJ. Take it away, Malcolm. Well, I didn't run into two fine sisters. <laughs> two fine sisters down here at Rondu Days. Uh, Lynetta? Letty. Letty. And Janelle. And Janelle. And, and, and I've, been, I've been talking to so many different people today, so, and I know these ladies, so you know I should have knew their names. But guys, tell me, what, what do you like or how you, how's your day going out here? Great, great. Enjoy the parade all the time. Always enjoy it. This is an annual event for us. Uh, we are born and raised in St. Paul, Minnesota, so we would not miss it. This is cultural. This is about the community, and we love it. We come every year. Yeah, that's our little spot right down there where we caught them. <laughs> yeah, I, I seen them sitting there, and I ran up on their spot. Minneapolis, St. Paul, brand new days is what's happening. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, up right now is the Fairway Foundation a youth, local youth golf group founded by David Goodlow and his son, Eric Goodlow. The youth group, they travel. Actually, they just got back from Kansas City. They participated in a tournament this past week. And they did quite all right down there. They had fun. Actually, the group has like about maybe 30 kids in it this year. I know that because my granddaughter is part of the group, but I'd like to thank them for their time and effort that they put in with these kids every year, teaching them golf, rules, and the etiquette of the sport. And our uh, Sterling Club member, uh, Ron Scott, is one of the coaches for them. Oh, okay. You go, Ron. Oh, we have one of the golfers doing flips, <laughs> like Ozzie Smith out there. <laughs> Sign them up. We'll take them all. We'll save our base, y'all. Well, there's one of the founders. There's Eric Goodlow. He's one of the head men in the uh, Peppa Golf Fairway Foundation of St. Paul. Yeah. <laughs> 
And coming up now, we have the uh, St. Paul Public Libraries and the infamous Bookmobile. Bookmobile is one of my favorites. I remember the Bookmobile when I was a kid. Yeah, when you used to go to Maxfield and uh, the Bookmobile used to come That's by right. Maxfield. It was great. Actually, I think it's the same Bookmobile. Yeah, they just, you, they prob just painted it. you probably got books out of there today <laughs> that you didn't return yeah, to, I, didn't I probably you? do. <laughs> You know what? They might be worth something. <laughs> the St. Paul Bookmobile. It offers year-round service to the St. Paul neighborhood. 40 stops every two weeks. It's founded in, it says 1993, but that is not right. The Bookmobile started back in the 60s. It strives to keep kids on course. You go. Okay, the and coming up behind the Bookmobile is Mother's First Program. Mothers First, they work with mothers and pregnant women dealing with chemical dependency issues. There you go. <laughs> healthy mothers, healthy babies, healthy community. The program workers are social workers, public health nurses, and chemical health specialists. <laughs> They're just exploded the St. Paul Saints. Well, the young kids enjoying themselves. <laughs> oh, it's the Pilgrim Baptist Church delegation. And coming up is the St. Paul Saints mascot. It's a group from Amicus, a nonprofit organization, organization with 41 years of experience in helping adult and youthful offenders reshape their lives. Amicus serves over 6,200 offenders annually. And here comes the St. Paul Saints Baseball Club. Okay. <laughs> Thank and here you. Here we are. Hey, Ma. <laughs> and we are live here at the Sterling Club. You're on the deck enjoying a beautiful day and a beautiful parade. And I hope everybody is here with us today. It's always sunny up here on the deck. And there's a Saint mascot breaking it down. I don't know what they're breaking, but they're breaking it down. <laughs> and here we have up Next is the Faith Float, Shades of Praise, a coalition of Rondo Faith Communities, lifting voices by song. We have some church up in here right now, Stanley.
Here's the Higher Minnesota organization. There goes the, the uh, knockdown drop the unemployment rate here in the Twin Cities or in the state of Minnesota. Yeah, they're an organization that is seeking to public investments to help jumpstart our economy and pro provide overall people to jobs, training, living wages, start of these climate crises and promote a healthy community. Part of the group is the incoming action center. To use the young parent program. And coming into view is the Mount Olivet Baptist Church. You know, thank God it's not super hot out here like it was a couple of years ago. Yeah, it's a pretty good climate out here today. Yeah, it is. Very comfortable. Yeah. And that was the Mount Olivet Church group. <laughs> People out there shouting out to their parents in the crowd. And there's the Oprah Boys Club, Ober Center, the Union Gospel Mission. Now they've been around for years. That's where I grew up playing my basketball from Hallecu Ground to Ober Club, Ober Boys Club. That all started back on 7th Street downtown by the old Super America station. We're going back to our man in the street, Malcolm. Where are you at, Malcolm? Malcolm, oh, this, is your, away. this is your boy, Malcolm, back in the street. This is your boy, Malcolm. I'm back in the street, y'all. You know, it's funny. I ran into, like, three. These are my three little buddies. I want you to introduce yourselves, guys. Hi, my name is Marcus. Hi, my name is Maya. My name is Dimitri. Now, we were talking about what do you like about Mirandu Days? I like the cars and the people and the floats and stuff. And I like getting candy and all the stuff, and I love the floats because they're so cool. Cool. Like candy. I knew someone was going to say they just like candy. Remember I asked you guys? These are my new little found friends from 89.9. These guys are going to be great. All right? You guys having fun? Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you. Give me five. Okay. All right. Thank you, Malcolm, for that touching interview with those three young people. We had just witnessed uh, the Bethel University group. Bethel University provides educational opportunities to adults living in Rondo and Frogtown area. In the Blue Cross Blue Shield of Minnesota group. We'd like to thank them for their participation this year. Now we're going to 
be entertained by another group of performers. We apologize we don't have their name right here, but enjoy the show. Take it away there, Malcolm. Back on the streets again. <laughs> Back on the streets again. I got here Mr. Michael Hicks. This brother here runs the 5K. Right. Uh, very strong brother. Tell us how you feel about the run new days. Well, actually, I'm not from Minnesota. I've been about five years. This is my fourth time participating in uh, the 5K. But what's kind of puzzling is they have a lot of events, but very few of us participate in the 5K run. But you go to the other events, you got to see guys with barbecue and turkey necks and all kind of other stuff. Now, don't get me wrong, I like that myself. But I think if we can get a little more participation from us in the 5K round, then I think uh, the event will be a lot more worthwhile. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interpret that in the 30 seconds, in the 15 seconds. More Afro-Americans should be involved in the sport of 5K, exactly. running, taking care of their health, taking care of their body, using the body as a temple. Pretty much, yeah. So that's a call out from you. Mr. Hicks, you know we appreciate that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I enjoy doing it. And I encourage everybody, if you can walk, just come out and participate in the event because it won't make you feel so guilty eating that barbecue and those turkey necks uh, once you come out here in the afternoon. From KMOJ 89.9, Mr. Hicks, you are a wonderful man. We truly appreciate you. He just put a call out to the Afro-American community to get that health in order. Get involved. Thank you, brother. Get involved. Stay involved. Thank you, Mark. Mr. Malcolm, now we got to get ourselves back in order. We just uh, to follow up the Rondo Board of Directors of the parade in Arts Us. We're right in front of them, and uh, we're coming to the end of our parade. We'd like to thank you all for being here with us for the 26th annual Rondo, Rondo Day Parade. That's right, 26th. We'd like to hope that you all join us down at the festival, which will be held at the Martin Luther King Center, which is at Kent and Carroll. It will be starting at 12 noon. And we hope to see you all there. 75 North Kent. We hope to see you all there, and we hope you enjoyed the parade. Thank you all for being with us. <laughs> 